The Gonzaga players will tell you they did this on the backs of the players who came before them. The young man who 20 years ago helped spark what is now a basketball powerhouse. KXY4's Drew Reeves spoke to some of those players today, many who've made their home now in Spokane. Drew, how are they feeling about all of this? Well, Nadine, I spoke to several of those former players who say it's hard to even put into words what this Final Four appearance means to them personally, but also for the Gonzaga community. And that Gonzaga community, the very reason many of them are still sticking around in Spokane today. If you live in Spokane, you know the Zag fandom has no end. It's unreal. I mean, people bleed blue here, which is really cool. The city is on edge as the team goes where no Gonzaga team has gone before. Also on edge, the men who helped put Gonzaga on the national radar. When I first came to the school, our dream was, you know, to make it to the tournament or to win a game in the tournament and to see what this program has done over the last 15, 20 years to sustain that Sweet 16 Elite 8 level. I didn't know it was possible. They're great Zags. Like, they're great guys. They get along. They're humble. Um, it couldn't have happened to a better group. Matt Santangelo and Mike Nielsen both played for GU when the Cinderella team made its first Elite Eight run in 1999. Almost 20 years later, they've remained in Spokane. Santangelo, the director of HoopFest, and Nielsen, the strength coach for the Zags, as well as the owner of U District Physical Therapy. They say it's the community in Spokane that kept them here after graduation. There's a connector through the university and through Coach Few and through all of us that has really created this own little family inside a family. And I think that that is one you know, characteristic that makes Spokane really, really unique. Now, with a real shot at a national championship, it's hard to describe what that means as someone who dedicated their collegiate career to Gonzaga basketball. If I don't have words for the Final Four, I can't even comprehend what, you know, what the next step or next level would be. And Nadine, in talking to Santangelo and Nielsen, it was easy to see that there's really something special about this group of Gonzaga players. They say the brotherhood that you see on the court is what is happening off the court, and they really just didn't have enough good things to say about these players, and both Santangelo and Nielsen will be among many former Zags in Arizona this week, watching the Gonzaga Bulldogs make history. Reporting at Gonzaga University, Drew Reeves, KXLY4 News. So cool. Thanks a lot, Drew.